Hey y'all, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Matthew's surgery went very well Monday morning and uh, we were so pleased with the results. Uh, he took several days to rest, but by about Thursday evening, he was ready to get out and go on a little drive. So we ended up going over to the Line and Kugel Original Factory and uh, we're going to show you the outside, the original factory, and then the stable, and then uh, this huge chair, which is great. And you can see across to the lodge. Um, you can park over on this side and walk over, or you can park on the lodge side and, and hang out over there. Um, but it's really, really cute and very, very well done. It looks brand new, but it's been there for like 20 years. So apparently, Jacob Line and Kugel started the factory in 1867 his dad was a brewmaster and he had come over to the United States and in the area that's when all of the logging was so big and there were about 2,500 lumberjacks that you know wanted some liquor or beer I guess he saw the need to do that and so he started it and it's been going strong ever since so um that was how he got started I found out what shandy means there is a line and kugel shandy and that just means it's beer mixed with fruit so that's pretty cool the night that we went there was a chippewa humane association event there which was really cute the dogs were all well behaved and on the inside there were several really cute things that i want to point out for example in the the case uh they have the family bible displayed and i unfortunately did not take a picture but they had um four or five i think it was four of the sixth generation of line and kugels that still work uh, for a uh, line and kugel brand and it's owned by cores now uh, but you know i thought that was really cool that some of the family members still work for them on the top there you'll see different uh pulls um from different bars that the line and kugel has been in and um that's the Chippewa Woolen Factory. That was also big here. So they were showing some of that and different line and kugel pulls from around the world. And then these are just various different line and kugel things that you can buy, Wisconsin stuff. And that's really cute, the little beer um, lamps. I thought that was really cute. I've never seen that before. And of course you can pick your own six, just like if you were at a grocery store, just pick which ones you want. that was i don't know if you see on the lamp the uh, lampshade also says line and kugel but that fireplace was huge and it was really nice and i'm sure in the winter they have that going and the little bear so cute he's holding a beer and then there's a baby bear there <laughs> and uh that reminds me of some little cowboy that i knew my honey and that was really cool that was used for uh burning the different uh brands into the different kegs and i don't know what that is that one didn't have an explanation about it but um they had really cute stuff and here in a second you're gonna see it's a uh canooler isn't that cute oh my god that's adorable <laughs> and then of course there were these older cars which matthew could tell you what each one of them were i don't know what that is and that's a corvette and I, is that a camaro i don't know um and then there's also this mustang here so he was really excited to see that and i guess they were out and about because the weather was so nice After we uh, went there, we went and ate at the garage diner. We actually got it to go, and that was really good. Like, it was cute as all get out. It was so cute, and um, the car in there was precious. I wanted to go up and inspect it and find out what kind it was and all that stuff, but when I walked in, the food was ready, so I pretty much just paid and left, but I was able to take some of these pictures. But the burger, we agreed, was really nicely flavored, and it had something unique on it that I wish I had asked them what it was because it, it was really good. Um, and they had homemade fries, which were yummy. Matthew also got a milkshake. He thought about getting the malted milkshake, but decided against it just because, um, you know, he never had it and just wanted to make sure that he liked what he got. Anyway, those were the, we did those on the same night. On Saturday, we drove about 30 miles east of Eau Claire to Thorpe, Wisconsin to Marique Gouda. They are a dairy farm where they milk their own cows and pipe the milk over to the uh, cheese factory 
to make the cheese. They've won 166 awards so far, and in 2013, they were number one in the country for their six to nine month Gouda, which is actually kind of cool because that is um, cheaper to purchase the six to nine month because they don't have to keep it as long. Um, Anyway, I'm going to show you inside here. This was the Duchess Cafe. It's attached to the, uh, you know, gift shop area. And um, I ended up ordering a, a Gouda and ham uh, grilled cheese sandwich. And it was so good. Um, as you'll see here, there's a lot of Packer fans out. And that guy's hair, I mean, hat, I don't know if you could tell. It was like this uh, fuzzy orange stuff. It was really cute. Um, but anyway, these are the different uh ways that they make the cheese there's four different things that they describe and it's basically um they separate the curds from the whey and that's where the cheese curds come from they actually sell that here as well but they press the uh, curds into forms to make the round wheel look and then they soak it in the brine um for i think two and a half days and then they start aging it here and those are dutch boards pine boards and they turn the wheels and the planks and they clean them every time they turn them uh, the boards that is that way it doesn't uh you know grow bacteria or anything um but they had a huge selection fabulous selection and i ended up getting um three different types i did not buy the cheese curds there um but as i was waiting and oh now i wanted to tell you about that alaskan sourdough it was huge it wasn't huge in size it was huge in weight it, it seemed to weigh like one and a half or two pounds i wanted to get it but i thought i won't be able to eat it before i have to go back to atlanta and i know they wouldn't let me take it on the plane or through tsa so i didn't get it um but one cute thing there you can get your lineys anywhere they even have them here <laughs> um so anyway, uh, they have a really great gift shop and uh, they have a lot of the Dutch things from, since she is Dutch, um, they have a lot of different products from there, like those there. And you'll see these really huge um, wooden clogs here. See them on the bottom there, they're so cute. Um, but as I was waiting for my sandwich to be done, uh, I was talking to a lady who was waiting on her sandwich to be done and she was telling me about another cheese place down the road on the way back to Eau Claire and I'd seen a sign for it but um, didn't know if I'd stop or not but she suggested that I stop there too and try their cheese um, and uh, that one is called Yellowstone Farm and they also have their own um, farm but it didn't smell like the the gouda place did because their farm is farther away from where their store is uh but they had really cute stuff too and it was so beautiful like you can't tell from these pictures because it was overcast that day but it was so beautiful there it was just so green and lush and picturesque really it was quite lovely um but we ended up getting some cheese from there as well some uh pepper jack and those bob's uh meat sticks which she told me about and uh, those were the curds that she told me that I should get and try. She said they're best when they're squeaky, which I did not really care for them, <laughs> but that's okay. Now, this is the um, Staybridge Hotel where we're staying, and I got to tell y'all, anybody that knows me, actually, first, let me tell you this. So, as you see here, those cars look like they're just, like, so cool and just backed in, but that's actually how they designed it, so that you pull up and then back in to make it easier to get out, and I thought that was actually quite clever. But back to the Staybridge Inn. So I've been a Hampton Inn girl for at least 15 years. But let me tell you, this is so nice. Like, I'm converted. And, you know, it's just amazing. And it's gorgeous. And, you know, lots of places to sit in the courtyard. And they have a nightly, um, you know, event where you can get a beer or wine and some little snacks and stuff. And every morning you can, you know, go have breakfast and make your own uh, waffles. And it's just really a nice little place. I really have enjoyed it. It's been like having our own little one bedroom apartment. They have free laundry, like as in um, the washer and the dryers are free to use. You just have to pay for the uh, detergent. And I went to the front desk to see how much they would charge there. And I was expecting them to gouge me because that's usually what happens. And it was only $4 for three 
uh, individuals things of Tide. And I was really impressed with that because, like I said, a lot of places they'll gouge you. But um, I was impressed with that as well. So I'm definitely now a Staybridge and kind of or Staybridge Suites kind of girl. So anyway, I do want to thank you for joining me. I've had a great time going over these with you. And if you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe.